Bro. Oh shit! No! The timing on that, Mr. Sherman, you just saved your friend. Oh god, everyone's dying. Never give up. Trust your instincts. We're gonna have to come back with this and event with a vengeance. Oh, I just wanna shoot. Oh, we gotta switch over. We're on last man standing, which is something I'm not a big fan of. I think I should be dead, honestly. This tank needs to be abandoned. Yes! Woo! Get off me nuts, Afro man! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we are gonna be taking out the KV1S. Or the faster KV1. Faster, but a little lightly armored. So we're gonna be seeing, you know, did the Soviets get it right? Did did their choice of, you know, picking the T-34s over modernizing the KV1? KV1, was that the better option? We will soon find out. Whoa. I thought he was going to ramp that doit. It is definitely more maneuverable, and you can kind of like, what would you say, slide out a bit more. So let's go take a hard left. No, let's follow these guys. Wow, that's a big crater. It'd be cool if, like, dropping bombs actually caused craters that were not just visual, but actual changes in the terrain, right? And if all buildings could be broken, uh, depending on, you know, obviously it'd have to be hit with the proper ordnance, right? A shell, artillery, bombs that were big enough to cause them to break, but that would be cool. I would like that. So we're following the uh, the Panzers here. Mm, look at that. We got someone in the 94KM ZIS-12. With the twin 23s, I think it is, or 25s. I got one of those as SPA. I feel like in a realistic battle lineup, I always have an attacker plane, a bomber plane, two tanks, and an SPAA. Because you never know. Some of those games, like, it's a war of a... <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy drunk? What is he doing? Oh man, so I actually got to visit uh, Cologne, Germany for a creative assembly event back last year. Alright, so we've got a Panzer IV. Everyone's like running and shit. But we have. Oh. We had APCR rounds loaded. I want my APHEBC. That was a little oversight. We should have switched those rounds. We got SPAA at the end of this. Oh, titties. We got a critical hit. He took out my driver. This guy's running into just death. Oh, enemy kill assist. Look at that fire plume. That's just gorgeous. All right, so we lost one crew member. Ground unit destroyed on British SPAA. Shells are coming in, shells are going out. We're gonna let Der Stug. This thing in reverse is not fast and none of the critical components that would affect reverse speed were hit. Oh my gosh, the artillery barrage. So, now that we've got a Stug kind of posting up here, and we've got a Panzer IV F1, you're so cute. That's a rare sight. Where, where are they? Ground unit destroyed, an M10. It's hard to see what's going on with all the smoke, the just carnage of war right here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, mates. So we killed the M10. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Shots fired. Damn, what a terrible shot. Like, my uh, my tank rocked right when I hit the brakes. And I fired and what would have hit the flat gun mantlet. Ends up nicking it. Oh, here we go. You know what? We could, we could hit this guy. Oh, almost missed, or almost hit the gun ring. Whoops. Sorry there, mate. Old chap. Wow. I was just about to switch to APCR, but ladies and gentlemen, the APHEBC is the king of ammunition in War Thunder. Um, it's just, it's just facts. If you don't have APHEBC, you're behind the curve. I'll tell you that much. Alright, so the, our fun little drunk SBA friend is running in there. Whoa. He was. Just got shot by someone. I have no idea where.
Well, you know what? Tetrarch, you're cute. But you're dead. Target undamaged. Oh, it's a Valentine. I thought it was a Churchill, maybe. Valentine's dead. According to the kill feed... Whoa, shots fired, shots fired, ladies and gentlemen. We don't... I'm not sure where that came from. What's up, buddy? Yeah, don't mind me. He's like, it's the carnage of war. You were just talking about it. Oh, shit, where'd that come from? I think we're... Yeah, we're already at four kills. We're one away from an ace. Oh, hello. Don't you love it when they reveal their positions? Oh, my God! Wellington just killed all of my teammates behind me, leaving me as the lone survivor. Ground unit destroyed. Tank ace, ladies and gentlemen. Holy titty ball tits. That was nuts. That was freaking nuts. Man, that fountain looks like an enemy tank, man. Everything's an enemy tank right now, dude. Like, that Wellington killed so many of my friends. I was over here because, like, there's no one in this interim area. So it's kind of like you're a heavy tank, but it almost feels like a medium tank. But the unfortunate thing is you don't... Whoa, shit balls. All right, so we are on not last man standing. Critical hit. Oh god. Incoming. We kind of had to not aim that because I was worried about getting bombed honestly. But this is my first game out in the KV1S. APHEBC FT dubs, guys. I mean kind of insanity. Insanity. Am I liking it? I mean, based off my performance, yes. But I'd probably still, in actuality, rather be driving a T-34. It's big, it's survivable, we've got shots fired, we might be able to flank someone. That That's the stuff that I live for in this game, honestly, is those moments where you get to ambush someone but like, it's not like you're sitting and waiting for them. You're reading the terrain, you're reading the battle. And then you go out there and shoot a crusader in the side. That's the stuff I like, guys. This is why I play the game. That's why I'm here. Is that him? Can't tell. Oh shit. We bounced it though. Oh, there you are. Ground unit destroyed. So, you do have the KV-1 chassis. You are survivable. The speed and maneuver really... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Watch out for your reverse speed. It's bad. So, always remember that. Oh, God. Don't worry, guys. I believe in us. I believe in our desire to win. We want to go out there and give it 110%. Hope we play good. Hope our team plays good. Ring around the rosy. Bro. Oh shit! No! The timing on that, Mr. Sherman, you just saved your friend. Oh god, everyone's dying. Never give up. Trust your instincts. We're gonna have to come back with this and event with a vengeance. Oh, I just wanna shoot. Oh, we gotta switch over. We're on last man standing, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. I think I should be dead, honestly. This tank needs to be abandoned. Yes! Woo! Get off me nuts, Afro man! But see, last man standing, you get some kills, guys. You get some kills. So should we go in with a bomber? <laughs> Tactical nuke incoming? Or should we just go out in the KV-1S, which clearly we've done a pretty good... You know what? Screw it. Ride this way. Ride it in. Ride that bad boy in. We are at eight kills, guys. Mr. KV-1S is very strong. We're going to drop speed. Yeah, I know. We could probably die a little sooner. But the thing is, when you're dropping a 5,000 kilo bomb, you need to make sure you're not killing your friends as well as the enemies, right? We're only really going for enemies. Oh, man. 
So the enemy team is starting to do pretty good right now. Um, as the kill feed, I think the last three kills were enemies killing friends. But we've got chevrons popping up. That's good. We've got a decent amount of intel. There you go. Another one. Another one for the bad guys. See, they're the bad guys. We're the good guys. We're wearing the white hats. They're wearing the black hats. Black hats are like magnets for 5,000 kilo bombs. It's just science. I saw it on Breaking Bad. Don't worry about it. I'm here to inform you. Okay, this just needs to speed up. I'm just paranoid about this plane is just so big and derpy. All right, so they're not capping. If they were capping, that'd be perfect because we would know exactly where to drop our bomb. You know? Like, and you can't see things. See, that's what's in... Okay, wow. I mean... That's, that's gonna do it. Now, here's the thing. Are we gonna kill friendlies? I don't know. It looks like there are definitely friendlies in the area. We're dropping, we're dropping the mother of all bombs. Oh yeah, there's, oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was two, but it was a dead tank. But we still caught three of them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's 11 kills. Stalin is with us. May the Stalin be with you. Always. You know what? Screw it. We're Jane out. No Russian bias. <laughs> oh shit, this is funny. What's he doing? Alright, we're gonna get back in the KV1S. We gotta get back out there. We got to let's go ahead and oh, switch these. With what are which one are these? 350 B's. Good, yes, good. And we need to adjust them. Very, we should have done this ahead of time, but we're still gonna get in there. Um, I mean, we're doing it for our team right now. If we lose it, it'll be an absolute travesty, but I think I have enough points up here to keep pulling in the reinforcements. I've also got my T-34 STZ. All right, so there's two SPAAs up here. Now here's where the downside of driving a KV-1S is, is that right normally, if I was a medium tank, I would call in um, artillery fire on where those two SPAAs are right away. Might soften them up, you might get the kills. Um, but at the, you know, at the very least, it would cause them to be distracted. You know, may cause, kick up dust, smoke, stuff like that. So I did see a shot coming from over there. Ooh, their Wellington did some work, man. Dude, if that's the same Wellington. All right, I'm not liking this because I'm point man and I don't, oh, here we go. Oh, a shit shot. That was not a good, good way to do it, friend. Nope, you're mine. You are mine, sir. Oh, he's getting hit by friends. Wow, a hit. That was a sloppy shot, guys. We should have aimed for this plate right here. How is he alive? Don't let him fire. Okay, good. That's one more for the good guys. Now we gotta rush to the A point and hope we don't get bushwhacked along the way. That Wellington was doing a pretty damn good job of uh, keeping us off it. I've got a friend moving in on the objective. This, quite frankly, is an absurdly good game. 12 kills. I think the most I've ever gotten in RB is like 15, but like that was like maybe a year or two ago, you know? I don't really... I'm going to attribute it to, you know, the opportunities presented themselves. I took them, and I've got APA GBC. There's just, there's just nothing quite like it as far as ammunition is concerned for tanks. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, was that a Sherman? Is that an enemy over there, SPA? Oh yeah, let's, let's pop this guy. A hit? Oh, we just barely missed the ammo rack. 
We missed it by an inch. Oh, and we missed the kill by a second or two. We could have stayed there and fired off the second shot quickly. Much quicker. Is that guy alive? Yeah, that guy's like, that was a, a serious fire right there. I'm worried about Wellington, man. Hey, bud. A royal guard. I will guard this flank. We've got a flag fans are coming in here. Jawohl, they're galoin. What was that? Artillery. I swear I hear planes. Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun. They're like joyriding out there. I was going to say, if I hit that plane, it's like just my game. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you just... Whoa! Big guy! Make him bag it up. Oh shit, we got tanks behind us. Look at this. This is not the way you should turn and rotate your turret. Counterattack, ladies and gentlemen. Counterattack! Oh god. Cromwell. Critical hit, sir. You've got too much flat armor. You just have way too much flat armor. Alright, so we shot down a plane. We saw a Spitfire do a barrel roll. Try some assault. Let's see if we can't do a drive by. We got the tracks. Yeah, I know my, my side armor's to him. Holy shit! What am I doing? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Hmm. Who's doing that? I, I can't be bothered by it. I know where the last guy is. What's over here? Panzer three got killed by an M22 locust? Holy shit. Crusader? Oh shit. We got enemies behind us, too. We gotta focus on the objective. Damn. Yeah, we gotta get up in there. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Alright, this would be perfect opportunity to use artillery. Shit, that was an excellent shot. And we're derping around over here. Oh. All right, well. Where is that coming from? Who was it? Who done it? Locust. Got a hit. There we go. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Absurdity. Can't get eyes on the last target. He's right here. Maybe we can set his engine on fire without him being able to counterattack here. Got a hit. Oh, we were hoping for a shot. Wish you could shoot through this thing. Looks like an upturned tram. All right, this might be what it all comes down to. We should have rushed this objective a little bit sooner. Oh, artillery screening us. Huh. Sup, buddy? APHEBC here to uh, ruin your day, honestly. Dude, if they win, if we lose this, it's it's my fault. I don't care how good I did. Oh shit! Wellington. I don't care about you. Shit, guys. My body's ready. That's nowhere near me. Oh, we got we got targets out in the open here. I'm actually pretty hopped up on adrenaline right now. 
Shit. Oh, shit. Zone captured. Perfect. Oh, really? <laughs> Critical hit. He's on fire. Raises over there. Hopefully, he's going to keep burning. Looks like... Looks like he's still burning. There's smoke. There's all kinds of like... We got we to gotta win this, guys. Oh, shit. Why am I still here, right? It's a great question. Spitfire, I'm a KV-1. But I'm gonna babysit this thing. I wonder if he's last man. Let's finish him off. Oh god. We gotta jam him up or he might... Oh, let's try to finish him off. No! Oh, I, I was spamming the I was spamming the trigger. All right, so let's see how we did. <laughs> Holy shit balls, man! <laughs> I don't know, guys. Sometimes, sometimes everything just falls together, including APHEBC. This is like if if my award speech. I just wanna I just wanna thank my family, my friends. I wanna thank Guy Jin for creating this game. Um, I want to thank whoever was the designer of armor-piercing high-explosive ballistic cap shells the guy who uh, decided to modernize the KV-1 and make it a little quicker and uh, and I should have rushed that guy at the end there that would have been epic so three of the kills were from the the Petliakov 8 with our tactical nuke that was pretty cool but I'd have to say Overall, that, that's got to be, that ties, I think, my best result in a realistic battle was 15 kills. So, that's absurd. That's an absurd amount of kills. You'll notice that if you take the top two guys on the enemy team and combine their kills together, 7 and 8, that equals 15. But there was a Wellington guy that just really just kicked the shit out of it. I wonder if it was Lord Nevis here. I'm not sure. And then we shot down a plane. <laughs> it was a biplane, but it was pretty awesome. So Scumbag and I, we were we almost were the best squad. We could we could have done a little better, you know. Averaged out seven and a half kills each. So, but yeah. So let's look at the KV-1, right? KV-1S. The real thing is in the armor, right? So we've got 75 millimeters here, 85 millimeters there, 50, 60, and you've got this little 25 millimeter. Space plates right here, which are kind of nice. 75 on the side. So now let's take a look at the KV-1. And um, look at the armor. 75, 75, 75, 75. Yeah, so here's where it really is different, is the uh, tank chassis itself. The turret is pretty much the same as far as armor thickness is concerned. Let's get out of that. But you'll, you'll notice the turret, while it is 75 millimeters, it's smaller, it's less flat, and it's more angled and rounded in parts. So that's a pretty cool part right there. Look at the x-ray, where do you want to shoot it? Oh my gosh, that turret's just like lit up with ammunition. These big old fuel tanks, which somehow, the fuel tanks almost act like it's like extra armor a lot of times. Look at how big that engine is, baby. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you guys for being a part of what tied I think or could be my very best realistic battle game in terms of kills you know I've had some battles where oh my gosh I thought it was epic you know I thought those were like the best games ever but this one's definitely points wise probably the best one so ladies and gentlemen let me know which vehicle you'd like me to drive out next that was the KV-1S and it is a monster and that was a monster game so thanks for being a part of that and I'll see you soon